In this video, we explain how to set up and test your wireless Move 5000 terminal. The Move 5000 point of sale can communicate wirelessly via GPRS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. The terminal operates on an installed battery that needs to be charged in order for the terminal to function. First, let's charge the battery. Connect the terminal to the power outlet using the power cord that you received with the terminal. Plug the power cord into the power outlet and plug the other end of the cord into a power port on the left side of the terminal closer to the top of the screen. Once you plug in the terminal, the screen will light up and the battery indicator on the screen will display a charging symbol to indicate that charging is in progress. Please note that when the battery is being charged for the first time, it must be connected to a power source for a minimum duration of 16 hours. Please note that all subsequent charges should last for at least three hours. A fully charged terminal should remain fully operational for at least 1,000 transactions. If you are on the road and need to charge your terminal, you can use a mini USB cable that you can plug into a mini USB port on the side of your POS device. If you opted for a Bluetooth connection option from the start, you would have received a cradle along with the terminal. When the cradle is connected to the power outlet, it serves as a charging base. So all you need to do to start charging your terminal is place it on the base. In order to start charging your terminal through the base, we need to make sure the base itself is connected to the power source. Take a power cord received with the base and plug it into the power port underneath the base. Your terminal's menu can be navigated in two different ways. The screen on your terminal is a touch screen, so you can simply tap on the screen to select one of the menu options. There is also a stylus provided with each terminal. It is located underneath the terminal on the left side. It can select screen elements more accurately and keep your terminal's touchscreen clean by limiting finger contact. Once the terminal is powered up, we need to make sure that it is successfully connected to the wireless network of your choice. If you picked GPRS as your preferred connection type, your terminal came pre-programmed with a SIM card already inside. If you picked Bluetooth, you would need to make sure that the cradle is connected to an active IP connection and your terminal is paired up with the base. Take an Ethernet cable and plug it into a modem or a router. Now plug another end of the cable into a port at the top of the base. Now let's pair your terminal with the base via Bluetooth. First, place the terminal on the base. Press the black circle button and tap Control Panel. From there, tap Terminal Settings, Communication Means, and Bluetooth. Next, select Base, Association, and New Base. The terminal will now display Association in Progress and Association Successful. You are good to go. If you chose Wi-Fi, you need to connect your terminal to your Wi-Fi network. Press the black circle button, select Control Panel, Terminal Settings, Communication Means, Wi-Fi, and Scan Networks. Choose your network and enter your Wi-Fi password. Using the stylus, tap on numbers, upper and lowercase letters, to enter the password. Once you enter the password, tap on a green circle on the screen. Press the red Cancel button to go back to the main screen. The Wi-Fi symbol will now be displayed at the top of the screen. Now that your terminal is all set up, let's perform a short and simple connectivity test, otherwise known as download. First, press Admin to go to the Admin menu. From there, press Settings and select Download. Once the terminal displays Download Successful, you are good to go. We invite you to give us a call should you have any questions. We'll be happy to help.